Yes, today we are at one of the Revit example. Actually, it is a example for 2011 Revit. So I try to just quickly draw it into Revit 2023. The Revit 2023 is recentry released by Autodesk in the April. So before we need to just set our project, I'm just going to choose. English default metric. Here we are. Let's click on it and just wait until it compile and then go to our project. Yes. This is a typical uh Revit interface. I'm just get rid of the ceiling floor. I have two ceiling floor. I get rid of both. I need to just change my project unit from here. You can also shortcut a unit. I just change the length to the centimeter, and then just go to one of my elevation. It doesn't matter. I'm this elevation. For this one, I just write minus 520. I can just give the code as a foundation. This. Then, yeah, I need to confirm it. I need to change this. Let's go. There are it as and and or I'm going to change the level to zero. Now we need to add two more level actually. This project had a four level in fact. So I'm just add two more levels from here or with a quick uh shortcut of the LL you are able to do so I'm just choose this one. Definitely, I don't want to draw it. I just choose pick line. Be sure that you are not this three more. Just floor plan. So just set it as an offset. Three hundred from this one, and three hundred down. So just go out to the comment, and we are able to set the level. So, so one of them is the garden let's call it there we are the code is fine i don't want to touch and the last one is let's it. roof yeah you can add level but it doesn't matter so you are able to make it like this so i'm just go to the foundation which is right here I need to go architecture wall. So you can just choose a wall and just choose the concrete. For sure you can choose the relevant fish. I need to just throw in this direction one thousand two hundred centimeter. Then I'm going to down think about six nine sorry like this and then the other dimension so the things that you need to just be sure it's uh, this part you need to reset the height of course I'm not set at this moment my uh, let's say top but of course you are able to set it later so I'm going to show it one by one to you so after this part finish I'm just go and take other wall. I can this time take the let's say choose this one. Like I want to choose some different wall to different it and I'm just go 195 this direction and 150 that direction and again something about 300. 
300. In so I need to just go to catch this line, it's about 540, and then come to this side and finish my uh, let's say wall in this situation. Just check, let's go to 3D view what we are done at this moment. Of course, we need to correct some of these things. So, according to the tutorial, you can also find it from the internet. So this wall, it is almost going until to the entrance level. There we are. Actually, I just changed the base. Fortunately, I'm going to correct it. So the base is a foundation, but the top is entrance. Yes, here we are. But this one, can you a tap to choose the right wall and toggle them and this one it's going to be under level one yeah there we are so this is up to now what we make at this moment so according to the tutorial you need to just jump to the side we need to make some topo surface i'm going also from here to move my site that i can make a better site so I'm just uh, when you're here in top of surface. Actually, let's go once more. From here, you need to just choose. So for first elevation for altitude, if we keep it as a zero zero. You can just put a few point on the very left side of the project. It doesn't matter. You can just put it few. Then the next one is something about three hundred. And it should be pass somehow from middle of the building. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't be worried about the exact location. And just go like this. Then the last one, which is at the very right of the building, it's hundred. Uh, sorry, minus three hundred and thirty, which is at the very right of the project somewhere. Is area and just put it there we are so i'm just confirm it right now this is my the top of surface or let's just jump to 3d as you can see it is cover my building almost so maybe to make it better i can some shade it to our project so have some issue maybe you don't like this part and able to it so we are able to just solve it with a section box that's very easy activate your section box and then just take this things push it a bit but yeah still enough and push this one also up here more right no actually only And from front, yeah, and something from back. Push, or yes, here we are. So now it's get better appearance in terms of the upper surface. But we have one more problem at this moment. If you just look, the soil. It's go inside the building, and this is a problem. How we are going to solve? We are just go once more to the site. This is a site. There is a building pod. I just choose this one and say that with this pick line, I will say this is my exterior wall facade. You need to just choose them all of them. So be sure that this boundary must be closed. For instance, here is not closed, so I need to choose a trim, make it close. Otherwise, Revit gave you an error. So right now it is closed at this moment. So this is. Let's go and check. Yeah, perfect. Now we don't have any soil inside of the building. 
according to tutorial, we need to build until the roof level. We just uh, partially build until entrance surface or entrance level in this one and from here until the garden level. So we need to build until the roof level. For this purpose, I'm just go to the entrance level which is right there. I'm just go again to the comment architecture. I'm just choose a shortcut. You can go from architecture and then wall. This time I choose something more light. Maybe 200. Yep. Again from center I can connect it to the roof. But my base is here. The chain is active. I'm just start from here. Move on the wall. Follow it. And trace the other wall at the down, then finish my job at this point. Just look at it what I done. Here we are. This is what we are able to do. So now I need to do same thing for this one. That's why I'm going to the garden level. So in garden level, I could able to actually change my base range to the foundation so I'm able to see what's happening down. So again I will take a WA this wall short and then I will say that until the roof and then start from here this part continue up here then go here here and then finish my job at this so you will see the wall thickness differences so I'm just go back yeah this is what we built up to now in our project so this is all up to now we need to add also a roof we need to just go to the roof part in a roof since we are not able to see anything we need to set our base range the one level down so this is what we have we have architecture and then we have a roof i'm going to use roof by footprint and then i'm trace the wall exterior line and then draw my uh, roof so again i'm just choose a pick line this is a pick line i just choose this one maybe first i choose this one because we need some offset as a eve something in three let's say facade so i just choose something extensively like a hundred give this side this side and this side there's a little triangle here it means that we have right now four slope at each side of the roof but indeed i don't want to have such a thing so I just come here and just deactive the roof slope from that side. Same thing from here. I don't want to define any roof slope this area. Same thing also here. Now I need to close my boundary because if boundary is not closed, I just choose trim. So right now I'm close my boundary. Let's see what's the shape at this moment. Of course. This is we are not able to see because my section box is very and roof, so I need to freeze it. So you see such a high slope, which is too much. So we need to fix this one. We need to go again to the roof floor, this roof floor, and I need to edit footprint. This is right now something about 30, which is too much. I'm just make it something about 10. There we are. Let's go see what happened. Ready view again. Yeah, too much better. This is much better actually. Yeah. So this is up to now this part. From this part, we need to start to build a floor. So we just define the let's say wall roof topo surface everything so we need to now go and define our floor <clears throat> i'm just go to the entrance 
this is my entrance level in the entrance level i'm now able to add some roof uh, sorry some floor i'll just choose floor any architectural floor would be fine definitely so i just choose this one again i'm i'm interested Decline. I will just say something about 1000. I'm going to choose this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter any of them. I'm just come here to find this reference. Then from here, I want to just go something about 900 outside again. Yeah, something like this. So I need also choose yeah let's choose this one actually actually i shouldn't be have the offset because it's put it down choose as it this i'm going also to this one this one and then this one with right there now let's go to the trim job and trim this one with this this one with that one uh, these are fine this, this one and this is with this one i shouldn't forget to get rid of this one so right now i just make something like this just enter it it doesn't matter you can attach it or you let's attach it because it's not a big deal for us Right now, I just make something like this. I have a projection. I can use it as a balcony. It's coming to the outside of the building. So I'm able to use it as my, let's say, some architectural element. So after that, I'm going to just start to make a ball. Let's just go to the <coughs> garden. This is our garden floor. I'm going to add some partition. I can just use as an architectural, again, wall, architectural wall. I'm just able to use something 200. So oh, maybe I need to draw something about 800 from here. I can just Again, choose a pick line and say 800, the other side. So I just draw this one at this moment. Of course, this shouldn't be go until the roof. I'm going to modify it. I want to just go until the entrance floor. So this is one step. Now I need to make some division on. Oh, where is my door by the way uh, oh, we just change the pace to the garden and should be a... yeah there we are so i need to just add some uh little partition over here i can again choose the same thing same wall and uh, same concept I'm just close my property i'm able to open it again from here again from garden to somewhere like entrance i can just give something it is actually up to us let's make it like this and come to here this is one wall and then i'm going to have some other partition maybe from here one partition and then let's say yeah 100 is not bad and pass it and i can just other partition this could be as a storage or anything so people can go through here there's some storage some little uh anything could be here so I need to just use uh, split over here, split element. I want to just split 
my ball right here one split second split so now i'm get able to rid of this one so now i have something like this so uh you can use this corridor of course so you can let's just make it this narrow ah this is better maybe so anyway so this is too much better so up to now we just built this part we make uh this level let's just now move to the let's say entrance level we have one more let's say wall and just go again same wall but it is going to the roof and i am going to trace this one and maybe there it could be somewhere here then i'm finish it up here actually i can align i can align this one one yeah, at least this is now a parallel with the other one so now i am able to add one more wall somewhere here could be or somewhere in the same yeah it's fine up to now <clears throat> so let's just check what we do up to now i'm go just going to use my section box instead of take it here this is our roof uh sorry our entrance level so we have a gallery here so we just divide some partition one foot down and this is our corridor that we made in that door as well so actually forget to put our floor here i'm just going to put the floor over there so to do so i'm just go to the garden level for a floor i'm just take architectural one same thing as a floor architectural floor and then i'm just choose a pick line a simple pick line choose this one this one this one and this one this one Or maybe this very little tiny one then i'm trim this one with this and then we need to also pick other one also this tiny one and trim as we do yeah it seems that <coughs> it is close yeah i can say attach it let's just jump 3d yeah now it is better at least we have some floor this area so this is up to now i want to show you that this uh how it's going to be work actually we didn't finish the tutorial completely but since i want to keep it very short i don't want to take it long and the next part we will add the staircase the curtain wall some outdoor element and window and door for sure and also a ramp so have a good time i hope you are